All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. Today, we're going over to Vocation, having a look at new music, which is a hazy pale ale, clocking in at 4% ABV. A juicy and smooth, sessionable pale for the post-punk era. New music was the original term used to describe a wave of progressive, avant-garde style rock born in the late 70s. Uh, as musicians moved away from the cliches of traditional punk. Well, lose yourself in a harmonic haze of pineapple, passion fruit and sweet mandarin with zesty citrus. Peel plus notes of fresh pine. Hops are citra and eclipse. Got this in a four pack from some supermarket, I can't remember. And I've already drank the other three, and they went down pretty damn well. And uh, if Adam from Mersey Beers is watching, then I think he'll be he'll be proud of that pour. Fuck you now. That's like beyond knobhead pour. <coughs> but at least it makes the uh, artwork from this time and tide glass pop a little bit. So uh, let's see if we could get anything from the nose. Nothing's coming through that foamy looking head. I don't know what happened to that can. All the other cans are fine. I've not dropped it or anything. But uh, yeah, nice sort of um, dulled, hazy, orangey, gold, yellowy. Put another colour in that and you've got a visual reference. Although it's a visual platform, so unless you are blind then um, I hope my terrible attempt at a discussion, a discussion, um, description, suffices. That head's not going anywhere. It's really nice. Well, if it is, it's taking its time. So we'll get a sip once we've managed to get at least a couple of mouthfuls of the beer. So without any further ado, cheers. Zesty is the key word with this one. Lemony, there's maybe a little bit of like a blood orangey grapefruit sort of sweetness coming through. Not a rarely sweet pale by any stretch. Just a just a simple, easy going, sessionable pale. And if you were to go to a a post punk gig, which there's not rarely too many good bands under the label of post-punk nowadays and if anybody mentions idols then you can just fuck right off because to me they're a travesty to music as are Fontaine's DC Yard Act okay <clears throat> and there's a whole plethora of underground artists still churning out some really good music don't get me wrong. Anyway, we're not here to talk about um, punk and post-punk and new wave and avant-garde. We're here to talk about beer. It's just a well-brewed pale ale, uh, to be honest. Not much going on with it, um, but at the same time, it's far from dull. There's a like little bit of a, a claggy sweetness on the back end. Nice smooth man feel for its ABV. Does have a little bit of body to it. And if you can just excuse me for one second, I'm actually doing this as I'm cooking some tea. And it's basically just got a, like a, like a gnaw, 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 whatever. Is it? No, Coleman's like a chicken kebab seasoning mix so it's probably going to be dry as fuck let's be honest but um yeah and i sliced up some chorizo and uh onions fried them off a bit and then just put them in the oven looks very nice doesn't it so we're just gonna make some cheap kebabs do lads and you know what a beer like this would complement that sort of food perfectly so i'll just give it mix around, cover all those 
chicken pizzas, pieces in the uh, chorizo oil. That's great, isn't it, when you're cooking with chorizo. So, chorizo, not really something you get on most kebabs in your local kebab house, I suppose. But it'll give it a sort of a Mediterranean twist. Chicken's got to be dry, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, little piece thrown into the washing up bowl. So yeah, um, it's falling everywhere. Just a simple, easy going pale ale. Um, They're sort of like standard price. I'm sure it's like six quid or something for a four pack of 330 cans. Going rate really, isn't it? <clears throat> um, just another good vocation beer. Although there's nothing like really exciting about it, much like the current musical landscape. Um, but it, it does its job. And uh, yeah. I'd probably pick up another four pack of that. I wouldn't go out of my way straight away to get another one. Don't get me wrong, because there's plenty of other beers that I would probably pick before this. But yeah, if shout out to Leeds, Yorkshire. If there wasn't any like uh, four packs of Faith from Northern Monk around. I would happily, happily, not settle for it, but I'd happily pick up a four pack. I broke the cardinal rule of mentioning another brewery's name in a video that doesn't relate to them. But yeah, Vocation, I'm a big fan of them. Uh, that export stout that they've put out there, really good. Um, they're diversifying their range a little. Got one of the most affordable and efficient web shops. Um, so they're a brewery that I'll go back to time and time again and they've got two of the great best venues in uh, the northwest with um, Assembly Underground and um, Society in Manchester Assembly Underground obviously in the centre of Leeds a big, big city that I'm going to say it's a bit of a shadow of its former self but maybe that's just a sign that all around the country breweries are putting out some fantastic beers and you can put vocation definitely in that group so yeah that was uh new music from vocation is that a reference to joy division with that teardrop shaped guitar i don't know i don't mind you the guitar shapes like that were very popular around that time but uh yeah would go down well at a Stranglers gig. 1979 to 1983 sort of live era. Anyway, so if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. What's on your favourite vocation beers? What's on your favourite supermarket beers? Blah, 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 blah. Links in the description and uh, I shall hopefully see you next time. Bye.